All right, let's take a look at REPL.IT. Now, you all know that I love PythonTutor.com uh, and the visualizer there, but uh, and you may continue to use that throughout the semester for different things, and you'll see that I'll use it for examples uh, throughout the whole semester, but uh, you'll end up using REPL.IT for most of your assignments, and you're going to go and create a free account just your email address i think they might have you verified i can't remember for sure or not but they don't ask a whole lot of information from you uh and then boom although this is super <laughs> anticlimactic hey on, i i had to put this in slideshow mode hang on let's try this again all right so here we go and ready and eh? ah it's a little sh little slow i should change the timing on that but anyway boom free cloud save so this is beauty so you can access this from almost any device from almost anywhere and uh, and it works great so um, if you're working on something you know at home or friend's house or whatever you go anywhere you'd like cloud save and uh, continue where you left off so um, and it saves things for you uh, seg segments them out into different languages so I will if this is the first time you've seen this in this in this Python class you will uh, see quite a bit and what you'll end up finding is that You'll use this if you take, for example, like C++ or Java or something like that uh, from you. You end up using this a lot. So um, anyway, we'll take a look at it in a second. But Cloud Save is beauty. For this class, we're going to use Python for all our normal assignments so right now. And then when we get to Python with Turtle, um, you'll know what that means. And I'll go over this again. But you must use this piece in here because it puts a, a little uh, drawing piece on there for us. So you'll see when we get to that. All right. So let's go ahead and jump over and take a look at this. All right. So right now, this is what this looks like. Uh, they change the interface uh, constantly. Actually, they keep adding new things, like I said. And, and uh, so so things change all the time. But right now, this is what this looks like. Uh, and if you've not signed up for an account yet, pause the video, go ahead and do that. Click on sign up and go ahead and, uh, and do this piece right here. Okay. So I have a teacher account, but the only difference is it allows me to make groups and I don't use it anyway because we use canvas. So, um, so it doesn't really matter. All right. So go ahead and create this, get your account, pause the video and then come right back. So I went ahead and logged into my account and uh, this is typically when you log in, it'll look like this. Uh, it may jump you to a di little bit different uh, screen, but you've got it, you know, there's little options over here on the side. So home, uh, the, the My Rebels, this is where you'll see all of your programs that you've worked on. Um, we'll talk about naming your programs so that you end up with 143 unnamed programs in here. Uh, that's terrible. Uh, so anyway, but you see that. But you notice on here, just as I scroll down, you'll see so these are some of the ones that I uh, may have seen, you know, over the last these, however many days ago. So this one, Python with Turtle, is, you know, these are C++ programs. Here's a regular Python program. Uh, so it, it's, a, it's a great way for you to see. And when you, you know, click on these, you'll see the programs that, uh, that you've worked on and you can continue working on them. So uh, like, for example, this one, let's just click on this one. So a few months ago, my nephew sent me this. Let's see. Come on, little baby. Uh, and this is a program that my nephew was working on. So um, he lives in, in Oregon, but he sends me a little uh, link to some programs that he wants to show me, something that he's working on. And uh, and so anyway, so this was it. So you scroll down in here. We will not use this left side with this, uh, the files menu. We'll not use this for a few chapters. So I actually will take this bar and drag this across and drop it right there when I'm working. So it gives me a wider space to work here. Okay, so here's my console output window. Uh, and you'll see the little, you know, stuff in here uh, when it's running. And um, let's let's instead of, I guess instead of looking at this, maybe we should do a let's go ahead and try it from scratch. So let's say I have this little program, but I want to go. I'm going to go back to click on this little button right here, and notice it takes me back to home. And you can either hit new right here or new over here. It doesn't really matter too much. Uh, and so you can search for a language here. So for example, I'm going to search for oops, Python. We will never use 2.7, remember, we are always using Python 3, which is this one. And then when we get to the turtle assignments, it's this one. Okay, so it must be this one to do turtle. But for now, we're going to uh, use this. Um, it gives, they partner with a website that does like funny random name assignments. And uh, so it will automatically give your name, uh, your, your um, program a, a weird name here. Sometimes they're pretty clever, sometimes they're lame. But anyway, you're going to want to uh, to name this. And so for right now, I'm just going to, I'll just leave it at this random name. So I can I could give it a name right here. In fact, I'll do that. Uh, and then I'm going to say create, and then I'll show you how to change that after. So I'm going to say create right here. And we're going to create the assignment. 
Again, I don't need this part right here, so I could just move this over here. If you're wondering what some of these things are, we'll get to these eventually. Um, probably one that you may want to play with now is the settings tab. If you click on this, it will let you change some of the stuff up. So you can change this of a layout. You can go to a stack layout where it puts the window down here and the coding here. I prefer side by side. It's up to you. Uh, a lot of people like the dark theme. Uh, again, it's just personal preference. So you can kind of play around with this a little bit uh, and, and tweak it to whatever you want to do. For me, I'm just going to pull us back here and, and go with what we have here. Okay, so we've got our program here. And if I was to do a simple little, I don't know, um, I don't know, we'll just do a little print statement, I guess. And we're just going to say hi. And that's that's basically it. Notice it auto filled these in for me, but uh, you know you have to pay attention to those two as you're you're messing around. All right, and then when you hit run, boom, here it goes right here, and here's my output window. Okay, so so that's that. Um, but I want to show you a few other little things about this, and I want to show you how to turn in your assignments. Okay, notice here's my stupid uh, name that I typed in. Uh, if you click on this little drop down right here, you can rename this. And so today, I I guess I'll just call this um, Ripple.it demo. Okay, and if I enter or click someplace else, then it will change it for me. And there we go, so change it for me. I'm gonna go back in here because there's a very important button. So this does cloud save. So every time I do something here, so if I hit enter and I don't know, type something else in, it is saving it, okay? So let's say that you're in a program and you're, you're going, man, I don't know what's going on with this. There's some kind of error. I'm gonna change a bunch of stuff up, but you don't wanna mess up your original program. So one of the things that you can do, there's a button in here they added, uh, I don't know, a while back. That's great. If you click on this, you can use this little button that says fork. And when you say fork right there, it loads this up and notice how it put dash one. Okay. So now you have two programs saved under your account. Uh, you have the regular, you know, demo, and then you have dash one. So now the dash one, I can just mess around and play with, and later on, I could delete this if I'd like. Okay. So that's a, that's a nice, you know, you could delete right here if you, if you want. So, um, this is a great way to be able to play around. It will copy and paste the code that you had in your other one so that you don't completely mess up your whole program and, and, uh, have to go back and go, oh man, what did I have before? It was working better. I'll try a different troubleshooting now, but now I mess the whole thing up. So be very careful of that. Again, it does save it every time. So, um, so we have that. All right. So anyway, so the fork, very useful, t uh, tool there. Now let's say I'm ready to turn this program in. Make sure you name your program before you turn it in. Okay. So I don't want any of the weird names coming through and trust me, you don't want your um, files to have a bunch of unnamed programs because you will refer to them uh, in the future. So it makes it a super pain to go through and try and find your programs if you had, like in my thing, you saw 143 unnamed. Now, most of those are just me just messing around, but still, um, I need to go in and clean that up and delete some of those. Um, but I do I do name my programs. I have tons of programs saved in there. And so, um, so anyway, so name it first. That's your first thing. And then you're going to go over here to this share button. Now, this is really important. When you click on share, it brings up this little option. Now, I'm going to, oh, I need to move the screen a little bit. Hang on. There, about right there. Okay. Uh, do not use this. This is very simple to, to do this, right? So invite someone with a join link. Do not do that. Okay. So this will invite someone to work with you and it's, it's a pain. You can invite them by username. You can do all that kind of stuff. The button that you want to hit to save, to, uh, to, to let me see your assignments and be able to just look at them. Um, cause I don't need to, to, to join it and have co-authoring or any of that stuff. Right. So click on copy. Repo link. That's the one you want. Now it is in, um, it, it's on the clipboard. So if I was to come over someplace like the submission window, for example, and just right click and say paste, or the, it doesn't have it in Ripple, but you can hit control, hold down control and hit V. And here you go. So that's the link that it would have to be able to see this program as I'm doing it. All right. So be very careful that when you turn something in that you don't go back and make a bunch of changes in it after you send me the link because if you make changes in it, it's live. So when I go back to that link, it uh, it will have those changes that you made. So if you're modifying it for some reason for fun or whatever. So just be real careful of that. But anyway, so again, so let me pull this down. So share, you're going to use the option to copy REPL link. Okay. Puts it in the memory. And when you go to your uh, submission thing, right click and paste or just control V for Victor, right? So anyway, so that's paste there. All right, so you guys are going to love this. It is a great, great tool for you to be able to use. Uh, it will 
it, it, it does a lot. So it, it's amazing. And again, the cloud save piece is awesome. So um, anyway, that's a little introduction into REPL.